What's happening guys? Safety Liner C2 here. So it's been a little while since we've talked about Pegasus. Just a quick recap, they're a new bus company based out of Ohio. They've put out a couple interesting products so far that include the Pegasus Zeus, which is going to be an all-electric type A. They've put out the Pegasus Atlas, which is going to be uh, on a Peterbilt chassis, and they put out the Pegasus Orion, which will be another Type A, a more traditional Type A, both on Ford and Chevy chassis. So since the last video, there's been some updates with them, and they've also come out with a couple more new buses. We're going to talk about all of that in this video. So let's get on with the updates. Since the last video, they visited the STN Expo and showed off the Zeus chassis. Although it's not completed, you can see that this is the Zeus chassis that they are going to be using. I believe it's called the Z19, if I'm not mistaken. On the note of that specific chassis, we also got some new pictures and angles that we hadn't seen before. Starting off with this specific one, which just shows the chassis and a little bit of kind of the rendering of the bus. Honestly, this chassis has kind of grown on me over time. I don't think this actually looks too bad uh, compared to what I was thinking uh, a couple months ago. They also put out this picture, which you can see is the interior structure of the bus. And then there's this picture, which again shows the back chassis of the bus. Taking a look at the driver's area specifically, we can see that there's going to be a screen in there that's said to include the telematics and diagnostics of the bus. So that's interesting. And you can also see the control panel, and I'm pretty positive that's where it's going to go. You can see that the arrow is pointing to fully integrated auxiliary functions, so that makes sense that it would go right there. I think that's a really solid placement that's obviously easy for the driver to uh, just quickly glance over and uh, reach without having to, you know, kind of fumble around up here or way off to the side. So just having that right there. Uh, that's good placement, in my opinion. You can also see exactly where the battery is going to lie. It looks like it's going to be right in the center of the chassis, uh, ranging from 140 kilowatt hours to 210. And we also get another look at the driver's side. This is starting to look less and less like a rendering and more and more like an actual picture. Like I said, I think this chassis has really grown on to me. The body design is still a little bit weird, mainly just the roof cap area, that just big space up there. I'm really interested to see how that's going to translate into real life. But overall, like I said, I, I'm, I'm pretty okay with this right now. The company has also ordered 25 more of these chassis, and the first one should be complete sometime here within the next couple of months. It said that the first delivery of the actual chassis to build the bus will be in Q4, which is uh, now to December. So hopefully we're going to actually see a fully completed uh, Pegasus Zeus here. So I'm, I'm really excited about that. Next up on the list, they apparently had a request for a specialized bus put on an F650 chassis. I don't know if this will ever make it into the school bus world, but this looks pretty sharp and I... I would be okay if this was, you know, turned into a school bus at some point. They also announced that they're partnering with a couple new dealerships. That production has started. The prototype is coming along. The Peterbilt chassis has gotten delayed. And that there's going to be some big new exciting thing coming within this month. Now, they've been teasing this for quite a while. Uh, that there's going to be a really, really, really big thing. And I'm imagining that this is what it's going to be. And it's, it's a bus, obviously. I mean, big surprise there. But they said that they're announcing a new partnership and that it's going to be with a zero emission option. What that company could be that they're partnering with, I don't have the slightest clue. Pegasus has been partnering with a lot of smaller kind of unknown companies. And I think that that's a really interesting thing from a enthusiast perspective and to also just... Uh, create more competition in the market just uh, and, and have more options out there available to uh, consumers. Regardless of whatever it is, I am definitely really interested in seeing what this is. They have been doing a really good job at pumping stuff out and uh, just uh, raising the expectations in my opinion, of what a school bus company should be doing, especially 
a brand new school bus company because they're just they're they're clearly working pretty hard here and you're going to see that with these next couple buses that I show you. Now that the updates are out of the way, let's talk about the actual buses. And since the last video, they've actually released or talked about two new ones. So let's start with the more standard one. So the first one here is something that we would be more familiar with. This is the Pegasus Valkyrie. I love these names, by the way. So as you can see, this is on a Ford Transit chassis. This is not something that we've never seen before. Collins does it. Bluebird does it. TransTech teamed up with Thomas and released this. So I'm glad to see that they're offering another chassis. Uh, just so, again, we have some variety here. Here's a picture of the activity version. Uh, you know, not much to say there other than you can see the other side of the bus. So as you can see, this is the same body that they're going to be using on the Orion. Not much has changed, but they're just, again, adding another option, which is great. You can see that there are a couple different seating options down at the bottom. One thing I think they've been doing on all their buses is making LED lights standard. Uh, totally approve of that. A couple other things that come standard with a white roof again good choice and it, the uh, electric door there are also some pretty standard other things that all school buses have and the max capacity will be 34 passengers so like i said pretty standard nothing uh, uh too crazy we've seen stuff like this before but i think that this does look uh pretty sharp together this ford transit and pegasus body i think it works pretty well but that's not why you're here. You saw the thumbnail. You were wondering what the heck that thing is. And I was wondering the same thing for a little bit. Let's talk about that bus. It's unnamed right now, but the Pegasus Via. So just like with Zeus, Via is a company that I had personally never heard of. And they are working on creating electric commercial vehicles just the same as Zeus are. So they have stuff like box trucks and walk-in vans, uh, service vehicles, stake trucks, and of course, walk-through slash shuttle buses. So just last week, from the time that I'm recording this, VIA put out an announcement saying that they received an order from Pegasus for 2,000 of these chassis to build school buses, shuttles, and paratransit buses. They say that it's gonna go 180 miles. And the president of Pegasus said that this is going to be on the Valkyrie, which we were just taking a look at just a minute ago. So I'm glad that we're not just going to be getting this uh, just one chassis, one bus. Uh, we're, we're, we're really getting a good variety here. He also was quoted as to saying, our primary strategic objective is predicted upon bringing new, innovative, and unique bus solutions to the marketplace. And let me just tell you, uh, yeah, to all three of those, you definitely are. And I applaud you for that. I am really enjoying Pegasus working with uh, companies that we haven't heard of before and companies uh, uh, like Peterbilt. A Peterbilt school, but what? I, I'm so glad that we're seeing this stuff come to market and that we're actually getting variety in the market again. This is not, we, we haven't had variety in the school bus market in like 30 years. It's been quite a while and I am so glad that Pegasus is doing this. Now, unfortunately, there's not much more information out other than that. I'll link the article and everything else, all these other sources that I'm using down below but we do get a look at the bus so let's do that real quick so obviously this isn't the school bus version of it i'm sure you can tell that but this is going to be on the same body that the ford transit was that we were just looking at a couple minutes ago so you can get a pretty good idea as to what this is going to look like as a school bus now the chassis itself definitely a little bit odd it's different looking i think the closest comparison is the ram pro master i think that that looks pretty similar to it but you know what i am honestly okay with it looking like this because again variety and just working with these smaller companies to bring new stuff to the market because for all we know this could be the next big type a on this specific chassis who knows anyways i think we've covered everything like I said, I think Pegasus is doing a really good job, uh, especially out of these new bus companies that have been 
uh, uh, coming out within the past couple years. They've put out a wide range of products and it, they are working with these smaller companies, which like I've been saying, I think this is great. I love seeing this. And overall, I'm just really excited for this company. I can't wait to see what this big announcement is. And you bet that there's gonna be a video on that. And uh, I, I'm, I'm really excited to just uh, see where this company goes. Anyways, I'm curious to know as to what y'all think. What do you think about all the news? What do you think the chassis is going to be that is going to be on this big new bus? What do you think about the Via chassis and, and the Valkyrie? Tell me everything. What's on your mind in the comments down below? Let's have a conversation about it. And I am, I'm really interested to hear what y'all have to say about this. Anyways, that is going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I always do appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe right down here. It's a magical red button that says you are now subscribed to Safety Line RC2. Make sure you comment up here, down here, over here, or over here. I don't know where they put it down in care where they put it. Make sure you also give this video a thumbs up or it turns out Pegasus is not going to release anything here in a couple weeks. And make sure you also share this video with a friend, show it to your mom, show it to your dad, show it to a guy on a random street. I don't care. Don't let anything happen to you. So yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching.